Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, back with another video. And today, today we're gonna take a look at a contact library called WaveSynth by Karani Sounds. It's a dope library I found. Came across some of their products, thought they were dope, reached out to them. And I even got myself an affiliate link, so if you guys want to check them out, link is down in the description. But yeah, first we're going to make a beat with it, then I'm going to break down how I use it in the beat. And then we're going to take a look into the library itself, maybe go through some presets and stuff like that. And then give my final thoughts. But before we get started, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos. Let's get it. So here we are in the session, um, not mixed, not arranged, literally just made this, but I'm going to show you guys how I use the contact library, what sounds I use and stuff like that, and uh, break down the beat as a whole. So first, we started off with these chords right here. As you can see, for this one, very simple chords, literally just triads with some slight variations, just constantly repeated, and this is what it sounds like without any effects. As you can see, super quality sounds in this library. This is the pads for brass preset. And um, Wave Synth actually comes with a couple of different like sub libraries, I guess you could call them. We'll go into that. But this is one of their sub libraries. Um, so first thing I did, I put a little channel EQ on it just to you know get rid of the lows, get rid of the highs, just to give it that sound I was looking for, just shape the sound. Then I put the shaper box on it. And I started with this time shaper, which is going in a reverse. So just reversing it with this filter, just to you know give it some movement, cut off some frequencies as it you know progresses, and then just a side chain on 40%. But because the reverse, it there is a slight delay, so I bounced it out, put an EQ on it just to cut out the lows, and this is what it sounds like. As you can see, you know, that reverse going in and out with the filter and the slight, very slight side chain in the beginning gives it a lot of movement. This makes it sound real nice. And as you can see, I do have Portal on it, but it is off because what I did was I went to Portal, put this companion preset on it, full wet, and then I bounced it out like that into its own separate track. Then I came back here, turned off Portal. So this is what the portal bouncing sounds like. As you can hear, it's just like gives us a nice texture. It gives them more of a pad, some atmosphere, and I just combine them. So far so good, sounding real nice. So then I went for this lead sound, also from the library. Every single sound is from this library except the drums and the 808. This lead sound right here is the low horn preset. And it sounds like this. Let me get, pull this out. With also have EQ on it, but let's take it out first.
super simple lead just to make it sound bigger, sound more epic. But then I put this uh, EQ on it just to shape it a little bit more. Just cut out the highs, the lows, just so it's not as bright because we're going for more of a dark thing right now. Not much of a difference there. It's really just to get rid of these highs right here and the some of the lows to make room for the 808 and the kick drum. But honestly, if you, as you can hear, that these sounds from this library, super high quality, sound really good. You don't really have to touch them that much. So then, uh, it's not part of it, but I'll just play them with the drums in the 808. Sounding hard, sounding crazy, but I decided I can't have it going like that the whole time. So I decided to throw on this B section with these chords right here just to give it some more, you know, variation. Uh, it sounds like this. Super simple, but you know, makes a big difference. Literally the same chords as the original pattern right here, just not as many of them. So first, let's hear them individually. This is the watching the night sky together preset. I just love how like it sounds so airy, atmospheric, and dark. But I wanted more of a traditional key sound to layer with it. Thought it would sound real good. Which led me to this sound right here. It's the uh, Kimura's Icarus. And together it gives a really nice sound with the watching night sky for the more of a texture, more atmosphere, while the um, what was the sound? Kimura's Icarus, I believe. It gives it more of a traditional key sound. And so together, it sounds like this. Works perfectly together. And then, you know, I already played it, but I'll play, actually, let's play the whole thing just to hear the transition and how they, you know, work well together and stuff like that. Super hard, super crazy, sounds amazing. I'm telling you, if you start with high quality sounds, you really don't gotta do much to them. But let's go into the library itself. As you can see, this is where we start with. There's a classic essentials and the VHS Cinema sound set. So every sound on this beat, I was using the VHS Cinema sound set only because in the moment I was looking for more like gritty and darker sounds and that's where I went to look for them, I guess. But let's go through some presets, the classic essentials. So this is what the Classic Essentials one looks like. Um, obviously, as you saw, the VHS sound set does have a different vibe, has a different background. But, you know, very same similar controls. It's just more about an aesthetic thing, which is dope, honestly. I love the way it looks. For me, at least, how a plugin looks is really important. Just because if I'm going to be using it a lot, I want to you know feel the good looking at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, let's just run through some presets. I'm just going to randomly click some notes with one hand and then go through some presets to the other hand. But I just want to mention, as you can see, this is the classic essential sound set. So it mainly focuses on like classic synth sounds.
get the gist of it. There's a lot of classic synth sounds. Quality of sounds is top notch, like I said, and that's super important. And if you see here, a lot of presets, you know, get you where you need to go. That's just only the keys, it's still bass, special effects. But let's go into the other one. So now we're in the VHS Cinema sound set. As you can see, it just gives it a more like classic, classic's the wrong word, but it gives it a little more like old school feel. Alright, I think we went through enough presets, you get the gist of it, quality sounds, that dark cello was crazy, um, I was actually, when I was going through some sounds, I actually really liked that one, but it wasn't fitting what I was trying to go for, but yeah, look at this, a lot of uh, presets, and that's just in the pad and soundscapes, still atmospheres, pulses, sound effects, there's a lot of stuff in this contact bank, contact library, and it comes with both, by the way, it comes with the classic sounds, and the VHS sounds, and if you get the Wave Synth Pro bundle, it comes with um, a thing called Wave Synth Glow, which I also have somewhere. Here we go, and that is gonna be for mainly pop sounds. Maybe I'll do a designated video if people want that, just for that. But it's a completely separate library, so I'm not gonna include it in this one. But sounds, of course, are always high quality. And what's beautiful about it is that, like it says, it's a synth. There are some things you can change. You know, you can tweak sounds, stuff like that. You can still change things the way you want. You can change delay, filter, reverb. Uh, th this is a EQ. I definitely recommend it. Uh, Karani Sounds, they have a lot of sales. You can definitely pick things up at a good price. Um, high quality sounds, you get a lot of them. And I would say their stuff is more catered towards electronic music, but nowadays you really can, especially with synth sounds and like classic synth sounds, stuff like that, you really can just use any sounds. Especially nowadays where classic synth sounds are just going crazy, especially like things like Analog Lab and stuff like that. Everyone wants those classic synth sounds. So I honestly, those things to me, are genre bending so yeah it's made more catered towards electronic music but it can be used for anything as you can see I made this dark trap beat <laughs> you know I would definitely recommend it I think the sounds are amazing definitely check out the demos on their website and their other instruments their quality is top notch that's something that you got I can't you can't hold against them you know the quality of sounds are the way to go that's gonna be it for this one definitely a great bank definitely check it out check out their other stuff as well and like i said i got a link down below i have an affiliate link so if you guys get anything click after you click the link you know give some kickback to the channel you know help support and i just want to give a disclaimer i'm not getting paid to make a video or anything like that everything i'm saying is just from my impressions you know so not getting paid as always if there's any other recommendations any plugins library stuff like that you want me to check out comment them down below maybe i'll check them out especially if they're free i'll definitely check them out if they're not free maybe i'll download a trial maybe you know i'll check it out see if i like it and if i like it i might have to buy it you know what i'm saying but yeah that's gonna be it for this one let me know what you think in the comments give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys next time peace